Today I'm meeting Bradford Smith, the third person in the world to receive Neuralink's brain-computer interface and the first who relies on it to speak. You didn't expect to need yes. this kind of technology, but then when you need it, it's really nice that nice. it's here. Seeing the kids play is the real game changer, but I'm still waiting for my MVP trophy. ALS obviously affected my life. It took me from young and productive to a vegetable in just two years. So when I fainted with respiratory failure in January 2020 and died three times in the ambulance, we knew what to do. Honestly, I was begging to be Neuralink's test dummy. Physically, the Neuralink implant hasn't been a big deal in terms of sensation. It's just there, a tiny computer in my skull with 1,024 electrodes reading my brain. I really think that Neuralink will give more ALS patients a reason to live, a voice, and a shot at feeling human again. What does this milestone of you having the Neuralink mean to you personally? It means that I am back. <laughs>